Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signal to work on the Python coding exercises. So if you're joining this in the mobile playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start at the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to click on the arcade, go to Python. We're in the Slytherin and Strings section and number 18, competitive eating. So we have to complete the missing code here. Uh, it was kind of long, so I just left it in there. Uh, we'll go over what it means. So the Worldwide Competitive Eating Tournament is going to be held in your town, and you're the one who's responsible for keeping track of time. For the great finale, a large billboard of the given width will be installed on the main square, where the time of possibly new world record will be shown. The track of time will be kept by a floating number. It will be displayed on the board with the set precision, uh, which is precision here with center alignment and is guaranteed that it will fit in the screen. Your task is to test the billboard given the time t, the width of the screen, and the precision with which the time should be displayed. Return a string that should be shown on the billboard. Alright, so they give here a time, uh, a width, so it's going to have uh, 10 characters long here, and they have a precision of 2, so they just want 2 points after the decimal place. Alright. So that's what they want. Uh, this stuff we'll ignore. Um, so first thing, uh, we're going to show you how to use this format function. So I found a good resource online here that goes through it pretty well. So the format function, you put in a string, and you can also put in these brackets, which will be replaced by whatever arguments you put in the format function. So you'll see in this one, uh, so it's going to print out Geeks for Geeks, a computer science portal for geeks. Just taking this Geeks for Keys and replacing this here. Similar to this one, it, it's going to replace this with Python, so this will be this article is written in Python. Or hello, I'm 18 years old, as you see here. All right. You can also use multiple ones, um, so instead of having just one, you can have, here we've got, you know, four of them, so you, for, I guess, so it's just going to replace these, uh, these here. Um, this ends up returning an error because you only gave three arguments, and there's four of these. Um, so I guess that's what you're trying to say here. Um, and then this one you can see. There's four of these and there's four of these, so it's just going to be this is one, two, three, four, like you get here. All right. And now you can do it with positional arguments as well. So when the placeholders are empty, uh, Python will place the values through the string format in order. So you can see here, if you do a positional format, it will replace this zero with the first one and then the one with the one there. Uh, you can also do it the other way around, so it will say geeks, for, uh, it'll just say geeks love, geeks for geeks. Uh, so you'll see that. So this just tells you which uh, of these arguments to use. It's zero based, uh, so zero is actually the first one. So it just gives you a little more control. And then there's also, you put in a field name, and then after a colon, you can put in the conversion. Um, and then the conversion is as such. So you've got an S for strings, D for integers, F for floating point display. Uh, that's what we're going to be using, because we're going to use a floating point number, uh, and then so on. So if you look at this, they just give an error there. So, so this, it's going to be 0. Um, so it's going to be the first element in the argument list here for format. And it's going to change this to a floating point number. And then encrypted, this is going to be the first, uh, or the second, sorry, um, one in your format argument list. So this is going to be, this site is 100, and then it's going to be a decimal, uh, yeah, percent security.
securely encrypted. Um, here they're going to give you a decimal and they're going to give you a precision of 0.2 so it's going to round this off to 78.23 so this is going to be my average of this uh, semester was 78.23 you can see here and then they put the percent after that so that's why it has the percent here it's the same thing except they give zero so there'll be zero decimal places uh, this one they convert it to binary uh, you can see this is the binary here or uh, the octal uh, using an O but in general you're going to be using uh, mostly S, D, or F. So the next part is, so if you want to do the string, uh, left aligned is by default. If you want to center align it, you can put in this uh, caret character, um, and then you can put in the greater than symbol if you want it right aligned. So here's an example here. So this is going to be center aligned. So Geeks for Geeks is going to be uh, center aligned and it's going to be 16 characters long. Um, so what is this? Four, seven, uh, so you can see there's uh, some spaces that are added to get to the 16 characters. And here they're going to add, uh, instead of spaces, they're going to add these uh, asterisks uh, to center align it for that. All right, so that's all we need to know for this. So for this, um, so we've got the T. And because we haven't set an order, it's going to replace the first one in there. And then the width is going to replace the second one and the third will be the precision. So what this is going to be is it's going to be the precision is going to be uh, whatever we have in this precision thing here. So that's how many decimal places we're going to have. This, is, this width is going to be the number of characters here and then uh, this whole thing overall is going to be the time. So if we run that, we'll see what happens. So you see it puts in leading and trailing characters because we put in the center align uh, character there, the caret. Um, so yeah. And you see the precision here, which is specified right here, tells you how many uh, numbers after the decimal place it will have. All right, so I hope you guys were able to follow along with that and you found it interesting to work with the format function. And I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you.